very exciting time and the information you're going to bring today is uh, I think offers great hope at a time when people are desperate to find hope in anything so many lives have been crushed we've been made over the decades to feel powerless and you have been working behind the scenes for really decades now and your radio show has done a tremendous job of informing people as to the scam that is the banking system and now we're going to go much deeper into something and this is to be the formal release of this information I've talked to your chief source who is a very meted uh, intelligent conservative individual who has validated that you have permission to read this to the public now and he said to be assured that people at the very, very highest levels right. of government right. throughout the world right. are behind this. Right. And as quietly as we're doing this, right. this is important stuff. Right. <laughs> is there anything uh, you want to say to set this up? Um, I know this is probably an unusual way to do this, but it's been thought out quite well to do it this way. Um, I didn't actually know that I was going to do it with you guys until your name came up in a conversation and we're figuring out the best way to uh, uh, deliver the good news out. Of course, I'm, it's going to come out on my broadcast as well, but um, um, it was decided that it should come out in this way in, in the best light. Uh, because at the end of the day, this is supposed to be, this is supposed to be the kind of uh, medicine for the planet financially and a whole bunch of other ways too. So. Um, I figured this would be the, certainly the best way to do it. I would preface this uh, by saying um, that if a person that's watching this, uh, seeing it for the first time, um, they're going to hear information that um, is going to be new, provocative to them, and it's going to have to people are going to have to adjust and realize that there's um, there are good people in the world that are trying to uh, fix the system. Um, that has failed uh, and prop up and create a better a better world for everybody and uh, this project's probably been worked on for many many years I was contacted uh, quietly behind the scenes even though I, I knew that I would be contacted eventually because of the content that I was talking about on air regarding the structure of money uh, what happens when money is digitized uh, uh, electrical currency, perception, the nature of news, uh, all the media ecological ramifications of uh, perception of media and finance, and the future on how we're all going to move ahead. That's basically what I, was, I would preface it by. So when I read this statement, um, it's been discussed prior to. Uh, it's not a random thing. Um, it will be followed up probably by details further down the road. In another few weeks, even from the date we're sitting here, which right. is the middle of December, right. this information will be released, uh, and people will begin hearing it January 1st. Right. And then within the few weeks following that is going to be a great amount of detail that will be Correct. released regarding this. So in that sense, as you've told me off camera, there it, it may sound just highly theoretical, conceptual, uh, right. and maybe even conceptual, and maybe even a little bit vague, and that's because until these final pieces are in place, the details will not be supplied. Right, and the reason why uh, we decided to do it, it was almost, almost a spur of the moment thing, because uh, I felt, because of what's going on and being reported in the news, that we're at a critical stage for the entire human race, as a lot of people are talking openly about nuclear war with Iran, uh, murder, death, kill, everything, every channel, everywhere. You've got anxiety in the streets, you've got uh, homelessness, you, and there needs to be some light put into place. And also we're talking about everyday right. news reports about the collapse of the yes. potential collapse of the euro right. that was supposed right. to have been imminent even a few days ago. Correct, right. right. So that's another reason why I think that uh, uh, 2012 should be initiated with some hope and some uh, uh, good things that are good people are out there as well as you know all the other stuff that we've all been told good things are happening and uh, um, I'm looking forward to being able to uh, share with everybody the 
upcoming great news. And this is not false hope from everything that you, although you've read hundreds of documents, you've right. talked to players from different quarters in this. Yeah. And so far you're not seeing that this is hype, nor no, is it false. No, when, initially, when I was contacted, I think I, the first interview I did was about the mechanism of debt and the psychology of debt and how people get themselves into positions where they end up working for somebody and they don't even know how it happened. Um, this is, and after, and I haven't talked to you for a long time on camera, since I've been on the radar, I've been trying to empower people to, to liberate themselves and get themselves back into a position of power um, for, to be able to handle the upcoming changes that are massive that are going to happen for the whole human race. Not and you were aware of this when you started the yes. radio program to help people on a very personal level free themselves. Yeah, yeah, that was the whole point. The, the debt itself, that was irrelevant. Because mm -hmm. that can, be, uh, a lot of people have been able to get rid of debt. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can get through bankruptcy, everybody knows about that, and you can do it many different ways. But that's not the point. The point is, how did you get that way? And I uh, discovered that uh, most people never even read the contract and don't know anything about money at all or zero. So I had to basically reframe a person's concept, identity, everything for long periods of time over the radio so they can understand to be in a position to go to the next step. And take and, back their power. And take back their power. And yeah. this is one of the, the ways that's, uh, that it's, it's going to happen. And from everything that I'm hearing, including talking to your contact, um, this has deeply spiritual ramifications to it. This yeah, isn't it just about economy. No, it's way past that. Yeah. I, I think, uh, and as I was saying before, because of the nature of where we're at internationally, international tension, um, you know, the potential war starting. I mean, I listen to the radio and turn on the TV. I can't do it. <laughs> I can't mm -hmm. really do it. I can't handle watching it and participating in it at all because of all the threats and so forth. And it's like, uh, do human beings, uh, are we going to get out of our limbic system? Are we going to self-destruct? Are we going to get along with each other? Are we going to bypass? I mean, the last uh, big spiritual transformation, I feel, in America was the civil rights movement with uh, the kings and 